Philicom, we have our great Ooh, I like that one. Panel I like that one. Up. Pretty. I like that I one. Really I like that one. one. No, the panel will be Ooh, good. Oh, I love, love well, I mean, that's, that's, that's good. Gorgeous. Oh, look at that. I don't know about that. Happiness Why are your voices so I don't know so about annoying. that. Oh, okay. oh, oh my oh, gosh. No. no. Oh, I can't see. No, she's, she's naked. Perfection. Uh-uh. Hello, no. Michael Costello just told me he's nervous now because Steve's actually watching the fashion <laughs> segment, so he's watching. So even though it was rainy and windy yesterday, the stars glanded up. We have Michael Costello. Thank you so much for being with us. The designer extraordinaire, Rachel Zalas, our style expert stylist, and David Meister. Amazing designs as well. And uh, we want to get straight to it to see overall what you thought. Now, a lot of people loved the look that Margot Robbie had. She was in this black, very drapey uh, Yves Saint Laurent. And do we have that one for us? I was going to say Margot looks a lot different. Yeah. Margot yeah. Margo is really looking there's, different these days. There she is. There's Margot Robbie at St. Laurent. What did you think? The lips, the hair? I didn't Go like ahead, it. Michael. It looks like a, a it, it, the fabric's beautiful, but it looks like a, a silk bathrobe. I, this is the Oscars. I want to see you on the red carpet. You know, I, I want to be blown away, and especially by Margot Robbie. She's so beautiful. And I what a body on that one. Okay, I, I Rachel. Mean, listen, she's a real sex pot right now in the movies, and I think on the red carpet, she's trying to come across as super elegant, and this dress really is. And Saint Laurent really is like yeah. top notch, so you can't go wrong. You you liked it, David? I you know I think she's looked from the jewel, necklace, neck, face up, flawless movie star. The dress is fine, but on Oscar night she should have really kicked it. Showed that it's body. Yeah. A little, wow, it's like a little wow. It's it's just too too understated. But like I said, from that necklace and face, killer. But okay. you know, better next time. Uh, so uh, David, we're going to start with you again okay. now for Zoe Saldana, who was in Versace. Again, this was a woman who gave birth to twins nine weeks. Ago. Go okay. ahead. I thought she looked amazing. I really think people look more modern when they pare it down and less is more. And when you are that beautiful, that beautiful skin tone, very few people can wear that color. The drape, the cut, flawless hair and makeup, the jewelry. I think she hit a home run. Rachel? I love, I mean, that nude salmon color was a big trend of the night with her skin color, old Hollywood glamour. I think she's gorgeous. A lot of nude, right, Michael? I don't like the straps oh. on distress. <laughs> oh, okay. The, the dress would have but been she's so beautiful meaning. without the straps. Michael well, she is breastfeeding. You have to have straps. Yeah. So was I. Are so new. I just gave birth Fresh to twins yeah. two weeks ago myself, and you don't see me in a straps. <laughs> oh, with that I love the dress, though. Gorgeous. Okay, well, I you notice that in the necklace was the it accessory yeah. of the yes. whole entire night. A the lot, big of, and we yeah. have more. But I think the straps make it look more modern because I'm so tired mm. of straps. I agree. Strap I agree. I okay. Know. You guys know Emma Stone. What did you think of this? It's the Ely Saab. Loved it. And it was all beaded. I'm going to start with you, Rachel. Emma is amazing. She's a Real fashion forward girl. I love this. This chartreuse is such an amazing color. Remember when Nicole Kidman did it a few nice. years back? Nice. I just, nice. the sequins and the red lips, she's just stunning and to me. And Michael, I, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, uh, David, the open in the back, right? It's she you a showed little bit. that, you know, she always kind of is a little quirky. She killed it. No one can wear that color. She hit it. And she's all covered, demure, except for a slit in the front. But she still gives it that young edge. You turn around and it's like, oh my God. Wow, wow, wow. And the wow. asymmetrical hair pulled up a little bit. What do you think, yeah, Michael? I love it. I feel like she. She's becoming a style icon. I feel like she can't go wrong. She doesn't do no wrong. Remember, she wore that beautiful pant outfit. What was it, Lon Vaughn? Mm -hmm. Yes. And yes. She she knocked it out with this Ellie Saab couture dress. It's perfect. She it's has beautiful. so many different looks, and they're all, as my husband put it, unbelievably sexy. So there you go. There's there's Andy Cohen's take on it. Gwyneth Paltrow, <laughs> classy at the same time. Yeah. Gwyneth Paltrow, very mixed. Any here? What do we go ahead? I got a jump. Okay. <laughs> I love Gwyneth and she's usually flawless. I think she sat on the steamer too long and body parts are migrating north. Oh yeah, you know what they're doing you with know, that steamer down there. It's like, it's left over from the 80s, like Crystal Carrington wants her gown back. I don't get <laughs> okay. it. Okay, Ralph and Russo is what this was. Uh, Rachel? Which is a very, very high-end couturier in London. Um, you know, I think she was going for a little bit of a fashion moment. I think that color is beautiful. Again, she loves the pale pink. Remember when she won she her won Oscar? She won her Oscar in that so pale maybe pink. maybe that's her lucky Ralph charm. Ralph Lauren, remember uh, that one? What yeah. about you, Michael? Now she she gave her dress that she won her Oscar into Ralph and Russo and they cut it up and they redesigned it and they made this for her. And you are <laughs> not joking. a fan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are not a fan of anything. No. No. 
Uh -huh. So, okay, the earrings were very, they were beautiful jewels. Okay, <laughs> Julian Moore, I thought looked stunning. This was like 80,000 beads and the Chanel Couture custom for her, Michael. Love it, It's she looks flawless. It's so beautiful. The silhouette is fantastic. The beading is special. It's just beautiful and Carl Lagerfeld made this especially for her. Just one of a kind. How do you sit in that though, Rachel? I don't even know how those beads aren't all crushed. Very, it's very tough, but she practiced. No, I mean, she's just like a movie star. She came to win. That dress is beautiful. I can't even imagine how many hours it took to make that. I love her. And it's very much in keeping with that Chanel, the black and white, but in a twist, you know, for a red carpet. David? She's consistently knocked it out of the ballpark all award season long. And this is what an Oscar A-list actress looks like. Yeah, right there. Right Bam. there. Killed it. Done. Okay, Lupita Nyong'o, remember she really burst onto this scene last year with all of her fashions. Oh dear. Uh, this is a custom Calvin Klein. Again, not happy with this. I'm taking it. No, <laughs> I, I hate to be the person who's always unhappy with everything, but it's something about the neckline with the little peekaboo underneath her cleavage. I think if it was just, you know, low cut and maybe didn't have that peekaboo or if it was just fully covered, it would be beautiful. There's just something wrong about this dress, but there is 6,000 pearls on this gown. So there's that. And that's 6,000 too many. Really? Exactly. So not a fan, Rachel. I, I, you know, I, I love her and I love her style choices. This was not my favorite look of hers. David? I'm on the other side. I think she killed it. I mean, you really have to be a fashion girl to wear this. And all season long, she's been doing floaty prints and it's kind of been detracting from her natural beauty, this white, the dark skin. And I love the cutout. Mm -hmm. I mean, I thought she looked you great. Liked it. You liked the peekaboo. And I love the pearls. I love the white. You I thought she looked beautiful. Well, 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 yeah, I feel it. like she's missing it this award season, though. Like, it's been one season after. But she redeemed season. herself with this A, a look right now. <sighs> okay, agree. <laughs> disagree between the two of you. Uh, Rosamund Pike, one of my favorites. She looked flawless on the uh, red carpet. This was Givenchy. Die. Red, right? Oh, Rachel, I, I can't even. Like, just so throw beautiful. up your papers. Like, to me, this is like, <laughs> I mean, this woman also just had it. What's up with these Hollywood women just having babies and yeah. looking like this? It's insane, that red the Givenchy, the lace, the slit, so like beautiful. the modern hair and makeup. She was just stunning. Beyond. David? Killed it. And she has not been looking so great. She's been trying all these edgy looks all award season and has kind of been consistently missing. And this, she was perfection. This is what I want to see when I'm watching at home. Right. I want to see this moment. This knocked it out of the park for me. You know, she looks so flawless. And this is the best I think she's ever looked. Yeah. It's stunning yeah. statement. OK, Reese Witherspoon was in Tom Ford. Board. She really wanted to overplay what was going on in women's lives, not so much what they're wearing. Your thoughts on it's, this, Tom? It's beautiful, but it's boring. I just, I, I love the color blocking. You know, it's always fashion forward. The silhouette is great, but I would have liked to see something else. Okay, we got to quickly go. I want to get to Jennifer Lopez. Tell me what you thought of J-Lo. Uh, please, Rachel. I feel like I've, saw, I've seen J-Lo's dress, you know, many times. You know, sort We've of seen that. her boobs many yeah, times. <laughs> I yeah. think there was someone else wearing something similar. Oh, yeah, you know what? We have Robert Duvall's wife in a dress almost exactly the same, and you can weigh in on all of that. There you go, side by side, um, David. Jennifer's not happy this morning. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, I liked it, but pretty. I... You know, it was pretty. They look great. Okay. Look pretty. Uh, quickly, we have uh, Kira Knightley. She was pregnant. What did we think of her dress with all the embroidery and the writing on it and kind of big? What did we think of that? This looks like the dress that she wore not too long ago. It's just the bigger version. For, uh, <laughs> for Kira Knightley. Okay. Yes. Well, we are out of time. It was fun. Overall, just the, the thought of the red carpet was one word. Um, glamorous. Unimpressed. Expected. Okay, Michael, Rachel, and David, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, we'll be back with... Uh...